Malone at the free throw line. In the postseason, the wins, he gets to the line a lot and makes them in the losses. A lot fewer attempts and can't seem to find the range. Well, anytime so far in this first quarter, Utah has run a pick and roll type of play. They have got a good looking shot. Everything else has looked very poor. They should stay with that pick and roll. As we come up on five minutes remaining in this first quarter, the score is tied and he had it up the way by Malone. Carl Malone, first team all NBA defense as well as the MVP, his best play of the day. What a sack with the open shot. That's his first field goal. The Jazz 10 and the Bulls 8. Hornacek can be a valuable offensive contributor if Malone has a huge game and draws multiple defenders. And the foul. A pick and roll for Chicago with Rodman. Carl jumps right out and pops it away. That led to a little triangle offense for themselves. Utah and Hornacek, that shot will go down virtually every time. And here's Jordan. Yes. And you can see Michael Jordan looking sharp here in the early going. Not, not appearing to force shots. He's attempted only three. It's a two of three hopper. Now uh, that foul, and then Isley and Williams had words. And Steve Jaffe may have, may have called a technical. It was a totally unnecessary play by Brian Williams. The ball had been whistled dead, Isley's penetration. And after he stopped, Brian Williams came over and put a forearm right into the neck and head of Howard Isley. Well, Howard Isley has been such a key player. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looked like Howard Isley anticipated some kind of physical contact, which he got. He had his arm up as well, so a technical foul on Brian Wins. Howard Isley has been so effective in his first stint off the bench, which is usually halfway through the first quarter. In fact, in game five, he engineered a 14-1 to Utah Jazz run. It's the Jazz 11 and the Bulls 10. 420 remaining. This opening quarter, Marv Albert with Matt Dukas, Bill Walton, Mark Rashad, Jim Gray, Isley with a nice move and then pops it back out. Here's Russell for three. Yes. Ryan Russell has hurt the Bulls from the perimeter. He's uh, been hurting it with the shot from downtown. The Jazz up now by four. He'll get a lot of those shots, Mark. He cannot ever hesitate. has had a number of them in this series. And Brian playing at a higher level of intensity than any front court player tonight. Isley was way off and it led to the loose ball foul. It's against the Bulls. Well, Brian Williams actually turning, facing on Ostertag, had his head down, tough to make a move like that, but Brian Williams is just so much quicker than Greg Ostertag, even though his fundamentals weren't correct, able to beat him with quickness. But Ostertag doesn't seem to flex his knees when he plays defense. He stands there and waits and then tries to react rather than anticipate and dream about what the offensive player is going to do. Alan Williams, that is his second, number five. Chicago 15 foul on the Bulls, so Ostertag on the line. Jabby trying to call Brian Williams down. Just play your game, forget about the rest, forget about the other team. Dennis Rodman knows all about Steve Jabby and Joe Crawford. He has had his problems in the past. So far, Dennis Rodman keeping his hand in the game. Dennis Rodman coming off a very emotional interview earlier on the Showtime portion of our telecast in a sit-down with uh, Jim Gray and Rodman fined a record $50,000, as you know, by the NBA yesterday for those derogatory comments he made about New Orleans just a couple of days ago in Salt Lake City. Here's Pippen. Some concern here in Chicago that he might have been suspended. Well, Jim has a way of making people cry. Oh, I see. A three for Hornacek. 
the Jazz up by the score of 18-12. I think we'll learn more about the uh, the Robin situation. NBA Commissioner David Stern will be the the guest on the Prudential Halftime Report. Pippen. Scotty Pippen going to the left hand, rebuffed and fouled. Hit by Oster Tag. 2:49 remaining. First quarter. We'll be right back. Jeff Hornacek, an integral part of the Utah offense, feeding off the brilliance of Carl Malone down low. Jeff, who has been hot and cold, hits a jumper here off the break, and then, again, has delayed transition. Jeff, though, has been up and down here. Very strong in the first two games when he was guarding Michael Jordan. Then they switched him off to Scottie Pippen, and you see game three and game five, not good at all. Jeff, again, playing with a very sore knee. But Bill, he says the sore the knee, the better he shoots for some reason. I don't know if he's trying to convince himself or not. You said that last game, too, about when you feel sick, you play better. I never felt that. I, I like to feel golden out there. Well, Hornacek, 2 of 11. In uh, game five and then two games back, the uh, the one for nine. So uh, he may be trying to psych himself up in that department. And don't think, don't, don't forget, he's being guarded by Michael Jordan, one of the best defenders ever. And when Michael really wants to put the clamps on you, he certainly can. 18-14, Utah with the lead. 2.40 to go in this first quarter. A lot of dribbling. Though, able to penetrate off the dribble, and it's a six-point Jazz lead. Well, Ron Harper just uh, having all kinds of problems with the Howard Isley. The only time Harper got bailed out was when Isley took a bad jump shot. Michael Jordan off the thing. Generally, Michael will try to draw the foul in that situation, and he had Hornacek out to drive. Jordan now two of four in this first quarter. Hornacek off the double team, lost it, along with the recovery. The shot clock very much alive. It's now at eight. Russell for three. Good ball by Rodman. Chicago has kept Utah from getting to the offensive glass. They have dominated the boards in this first quarter. 145 to go in the first. Ryan Williams, who again came out early for the foul play. Luke Longley. Shot clock at five. Trying to save the rebound, but just not a good possession at all for the Chicago Bulls. Not running any kind of offense, just putting the ball in the hands of Michael Jordan, who, when he catches right now, is hesitating, very tentative.